What's up guys? Today I will be sharing with you a fruit roll-ups recipe. I am so, so excited to share this with you guys. I remember having fruit roll-ups as a kid and that was like my little snack I'd have at school. So nostalgic. It brings back so many good memories. I always felt like eating a bit when I had my little fruit roll-up. And I used to do that thing where you like wrap it around your finger and eat it that way. So much fun. But later on my mum used to make some like healthier fruit roll-up recipes with the dehydrator. A little bit healthier, not sugary, but super delicious still. And just like a normal fruit roll-up. So I thought I'd share that recipe with you guys. It is vegan friendly. If you are strict vegan and you don't want to use honey, you can feel free to omit that. Or you could use maple syrup instead as well. So you don't have to use honey, you can use maple syrup if you like. Alrighty, so if you guys like this recipe and you want me to do more fruit roll-up recipes in the future, just comment below. I'll be happy to do another video on other variations of fruit roll-ups that you guys can make. This recipe was originally from... <laughs> Fresh off the grid. I thought it was like off the grid. Fresh off the grid, but I will share in my description below the recipe to making this fruit roll-ups recipe. If you guys want to check that out later on if you want to go to make it yourself. And I will also share their blog in the description if you guys want to check them out. They're really good. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be using a dehydrator today, just like this one here, but you can use your oven as well. I'm not as good or familiar with using my oven to dehydrate. So if you guys have had experience using an oven to dehydrate fruits, vegetables and things like that in the past, you can feel free to do that. But I will be using a dehydrator today. It will take about six to eight hours to dehydrate depending on your dehydrator of choice or the dehydrator you're using. And you also need to use like some plastic little film like this because that's what the fruit roll up is going to be drying on. But yeah, that's pretty much all the equipment you'll be using. So I'm going to be blending up all the ingredients. So the fruit roll up I'll be doing today is a blueberry banana one. It sounds really nice. I'm very excited to make it. So you're going to just need some blueberries, some chia seeds, banana of course, honey or maple syrup if you're going to use that, and some dates. Now the recipe calls for five to ten dates, but <laughs> I only have two, so I'm going to be using that today. That's all I have. I was like, oh, that's all right. It'll do. I think it just helps with sweetness. Maybe it also helps with binding, but fingers crossed we'll be all right. All righty. So I'm going to pop all the ingredients into here and then blend it up, and it's pretty good to go. Now, if you're using the 5 to 10 dates, you actually don't need the honey. So um, it's just optional, but I'm just going to be using it because it'll help to bind the mixture a little better. Yeah, but if you have the 5 to 10 dates, don't worry about using the honey. Or you can use maple syrup if you still want to give it a sweeter taste. Now it's good to go. I'm just going to blend it up. All done. Ready to go. So a little tip that they recommend on the fresh off the grid. Is it fresh off the grid? Like fresh off the grill. Yeah, it is. So a little tip that they recommend is if you want to speed up the dehydrating process is that you heat it up in a pot over medium heat on your stove for around 5 to 10 minutes. I'm just going to do that quickly because it'll help to speed up the process later on. But if you guys don't want to do that, you can simply just go straight to popping it into your dehydrator or onto your baking sheet and pop it in the oven. I thought any way that will speed it up would be good for me because I'd love to have it sooner rather than later. Make sure you're only heating it on medium heat. You don't want it to be on high because it can like burn the, and heat up the fruit too much so it will lose some of its nutrients. There we go. So I just left it on for five minutes. I'll pop it onto my dehydrator now. So the thinner you do it, the quicker it will dry. But you also want it to be thick enough that it won't uh, break as you're trying to roll it up into that little roll up shape that we get at the end. So <laughs> mine is a little bit thicker than what they recommended. I just didn't want to have to do mine in two sections. So like do one today and then another another day because I only have one of these little plastic rim things. So I just made mine a little bit thicker. But if you guys want to make it quicker to dehydrate and keep it at the thin kind of consistency, definitely use a thinner layer. But yeah, I'm going to start dehydrating it now. So I'm going to turn the machine on. And it'll take about six to eight hours, though for me, I'm sure it will take a bit longer. So mine will probably be a bit full 24 hours, but that's okay. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning to see how it goes. So 
it is finished. It's about it's been about 24 hours, probably a bit less. I didn't have it on overnight though, so I turned it off. So it probably took around eight to ten hours and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. You know it's ready when you touch it and it's not sticky to the touch. So I'm going to now take it out of its little casing and roll it up. I'm going to probably cut it in half just because it's quite wide. So I'm going to cut mine in half and then just roll it and cut it when it gets to a good length for me. So you can optionally choose to saran wrap them. It does specify that's probably a good idea to keep them for longer. I'm just gonna keep mine in an airtight container in the fridge. I'm not sure how long it lasts. I'd probably keep it for up to maybe a week in the fridge or a few days if you're just keeping it on your counter top out, out in room temperature. Anywho, I'm gonna just cut mine out now and begin to roll them up. Alright, Megan and I are going to try it as like the moment of truth to see how they turned out. They look so good. Some of them are still a bit, I guess, um, probably could do with a bit longer in the dehydrator only because they're mm. still a bit soft. You like it? Oh my god, yeah. It's like oh, banana -y. Okay. banana y Yeah, but banana mm. and then blueberries. Why oh, it's nice. Ooh. But with a roll up texture. See if it does that finger wrapping thing. Mmm. <laughs> there you go. It kind of does the finger wrapping thing. <laughs> it's not <as> sticky. <laughs> But you could it's eat it like so that. so good. Mmm. Mmm. I love this. I'm definitely going to try out some different flavours. I think there's like a raspberry one, which I'm keen to try that. I love where raspberries. Try an apricot one. So I forgot to mention before, you need to let it cool before you take it out of the container as well. So after you finish dehydrating it, just let it cool and then you guys can start rolling it up. Today's comment of the day goes to Saksham Carla. Thank you so much for leaving a lovely comment on my jewellery cleaner video. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Bye.